Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. I'm glad you could join us because today actually we're out here in Westport, Massachusetts and it's our first time fishing this area so we have no idea what to expect. So you're going to come out on a journey with us and we'll see what we can do. We're rigged with all kinds of different artificial baits and lures and uh, we're going to make our way out here to the mouth of the river and uh, see what's going on this morning. So the skies are a little gray right now. They say it's supposed to clear maybe later today. There might be some showers, one of those iffy kind of days and the wind's supposed to pick up. But uh, yeah, we're out here for the day. We're going to enjoy it. So stay tuned, folks. We're out here now. It's been raining pretty good. We couldn't do any filming because of the rain. But let me tell you, folks, we're getting some fish. And you know what? The Viper Spoon Bite is on. We've been nailing bluefish, fluke, and we've got a sea bass. So we're running, we're running viper spoons suspended with some strips of sea robin. You can see here, basically we got some strips of sea robin we're using, and I just put on some artificial uh, bait. We're going to see if uh, if that works as well. And all we're doing is flatlining right now. Just strikes again with the viper spoon, folks. The strip of sea robin. I need to hand me the net and I'll land them for you. That's a decent little bluefish. Oh, they're strong. Not even. There you go, Claudio. There you go. That's another blue. <laughs> got him? I got him. Nice. Yeah. You got the bleeding pearl chartreuse on as well, right? Bleeding pearl, yep. Alright. <laughs> nice fish. Use the pliers. Best to use the pliers in this case. There you go. Oh, you got one too. Oh, I just lost it. Do you really? I think so. What a mess! <laughs> there we go. School of viper spoons. Wow! I can't believe it. I lost mine. You got yours, folks. This is unbelievable. These viper spoons are on fire out here today. We got tangled up here, though. But Phil managed to land his. See mine? Whoa! I'm caught there. <laughs> it's starting to rain on us again, but it's at least it's not that heavy. Not too bad. Nice blue, Phil. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, he inhaled it too. I love the sea robin strips. Sea robin strip is a great bait. Okay, folks, this is all I'm running. I've got an artificial, what they call it, it's a Slimers. It's a bait from Slimers. It's a little six inch cut bait strip. And uh, there's no weight on here, although I am running a T turn and a little teaser on my rig as well. And this is flat lining, folks. There's no weight. No weight to these Viper Spoons. This is the size SS20. Phil, we're all running SS20s. And a single snap, as you can see, I've got a single snap here, snapping on the Viper Spoon. And all we're doing, folks, with the flat lining technique, tossing it out there, letting out line, maybe 50, 100 feet of line, and it just drifted. And uh, these bluefish are just attacking these vipers. We had a nice double header going there. And we're just having a ball. And that's what the flat lining technique is all about. Toss it out there, let it go out, and then just shut the bail and start drifting. And uh, the blues are just hitting them. The fish, the, 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 the SS viper spoons, they're saying suspended because as we're moving, there's no weight on there. It's gonna wanna come to the top. And on the top, that's where the blues are sitting. In fact, if there were any stripers around, they'd be attacking these viper spoons as well. But right now, we're having a lot of fun with these bluefish. And we did catch uh, we did catch uh, two or three fluke as well. And that's only because, I think, either they've came up for them or our viper spoons have sank a bit. But either way, these viper spoons are doing the trick today and this is the perfect drift. You've got a screamer, Phil! I know, I see him out there. <laughs> I see him on top of the water. Yes. It doesn't look huge, but wow, did he ever hit hard? <laughs> He's oh. feeling. 
Oh, that's a nice blue. Oh, that's a dead one. Wow. That's a good one, Phil. Oh. oh. Did you give a good hook set? Does that answer your question? Uh, yeah, I guess it does. Whoa, oh, he's a streamer. Oh. Holy smokes. He's going around the back of the boat. I can't take my drag. Oh, it's just going nuts. Wow. Wow. They are strong, aren't they? Don't you want to come in, they eh? Strong. They are strong. They are strong. That's a nice one, too. Oh, that's a dandy. Oh, that's a nice blue. Oh yeah, nice. Wow. Finally, oh, that's a nice one. Unbelievable. Yeah, watch your hand, watch your hand. Yeah. Put your finger in his mouth. <laughs> wow. That's a nice blue, Phil. That was a lot of fun. There he is. Mr. Bluefish himself. <laughs> well folks, I gotta tell you, it was getting uh, very, very rough out there. We just had to come in. Too, too rough, too windy for five guys in a boat. But you know what, folks? Our first trip here to Westport has been outstanding. It's been wet, it's been rough, it's been windy, but we had a great day. Wish we could have filmed some more, but we had an outstanding day on the water. This was the rig that did most of the damage. It was the Viper Spoon with a strip of cut bait, just like that. Flat lining, that was the ticket today. We had a great day. We want to thank you so much, folks, for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck, good fishing. So you hit the backbone, you want to turn the knife and keep, and just kind of point the knife and keep it along, go on the backbone like that. 